Have you seen what Melania Trump just said? What uh, Melania Trump just recently said she would like. Uh, she thinks Tucker would be a great vice president candidate. And where'd that come from? Like, where did that? Where does that come out of the blue? For like, when have you ever heard a, a, an ex president's wife going? You know what? I like that guy to be the vice president. That means she probably heard something. I mean, it came out of that blue right there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, she heard something. Come on, come on. She heard something and went, "I like him." You know, when's the first time anybody said anything about Tucker being a VP? It was on this podcast. I remember. Wait, let me guess. It was Hold called on. the alliance between Elon Tucker and Trump. Mm -hmm. bam, bam, bam. And by the way, you know what just came up about Tucker? Did you hear the story about what the negotiation was? Why he went on X? Watch this here. Uh -oh. This is the story, Rob. Do you have that or no? On on uh, Tucker going. Uh, starting his media company and what he got with Page Twitter 10. in exchange. Is that the one? I, is that the one this is? Uh, let me see if it's in there or not. If not, you can pull it up. I'll show you the article as well. And I talked about this a couple of months ago. So here we go. Tucker Carlson, new media company, moves forward. I think they raised 15 million bucks a couple months ago. Um, we are opened our site for membership sales. Subscribers will gain access to exclusive content and behind the scenes footage, although. Pricing details remain on the schools. Patel mentioned that the official launch will once will follow once. Well, you know, despite this departure from Tucker Carlson. Tucker Carlson. Okay, go type in Tucker. Oh, is this the one that says fifty? So he went on Twitter X to do his show in exchange for fifty retweets with Elon. What? Yes, That's all he needed <laughs> in exchange for fifty retweets with Elon. So if you type in Tucker Carlson X. Uh, 50 retweets, retweets. That's so. From that's so weird. Musk. That's so like. But it's but smart. No, But uh, but it's. This is exactly what I talked about when I said, why would Tucker turn down the hundred million dollar offer we made to him? Mm -hmm. Because 50 retweets from Elon is worth more to him than a hundred million dollars. <laughs> Think about that. 50 retweets is worth more than a hundred million dollar offer being made. And was it was it any specific or whenever just I mean not back to back to back to back to back or whenever Tucker goes, please retweet this one. What do you mean? Like which which tweets of Tucker were I, it, I have like, to show you guys this because believe you it. have to see it. You have to see it to understand what I'm talking about uh with with him and Musk. But the idea is now Melania's saying, hey, maybe this guy would make a good VP. Um you know, he, you know, she would like to see him be a VP and potential candidate as a VP. Do, can you see Tucker as a VP, Tom? Do you think that would be a wise move to have Tucker Carlson as the VP for Trump? Absolutely. Tell me why. <clears throat> well, number one, this guy is very well read. And not only that, his position statements and his point of views on the three key areas that a president really can impact. He can impact the economy through treasury, number one. Number two, he can uh, impact domestic policy through things that he puts out there, like a disaster area, recovery, things like that. Then also on foreign policy, who Secretary of State is and the positions that we take on the two things in foreign policy, defense-oriented positions, where like, you're giving guns to a friend, um, or or economics. And those are the things that I think Tucker Carlson really has a very strong intellect on, and he understands how Washington works. So if if that's the measure of a vice president, understanding how economic policy um, and then domestic policy in general and foreign policy work, then the guy the guy has the, the credentials to be there, and he's very visible to the American voters. So now let's go the other way. You know, you got to pick somebody who's visible. You got to pick somebody who's bankable, votable, electable, huh. and he has all those. So if I look at it on a quantitative basis that way, you know, the, the old method was, hey, you're not very strong in Texas. Maybe LBJ could be your vice president candidate and help you carry Texas. Yeah. That used to be the way it works. It doesn't really work that way anymore. It's all about the candidate, but the vice president can't be a drag. Um, we all know who the vice president candidate was for John McCain, and she was a drag on the ticket. Mm -hmm. You don't want that. Dan Quayle, even though he proved to be right, and Vanity Fair wrote an article that said Dan Quayle was right about the following things. He was a drag <clears throat> on, on Bush Sr. So you can't be a drag on the ticket. You have to be something. And they the last time you've seen, um, I think, something 
Well, oh, let's go look at Obama and Biden. Biden was the elder statesman that knew his way around Washington, so you can trust that Obama's going to get good advice. That was the pitch that we were all sold on the selection of uh Joe Biden. And I think Tucker lines up very well. He checks all the boxes. He'd be a ferocious debater. Ugh. And so I think and then you have to think, OK, one heartbeat from the presidency. OK, oh, could he be, you know, a president on the order of Reagan-esque uh, conservatism that is that is. Uh, been successfully malleable into the world in which we live today, and I think the answer is yes. I think, I think dude, like imagine having him as vice president. He wouldn't be one of these Kamala do nothing. Just by the way, don't even know where, what what Kamala does or where she is. He'd be a phenomenal vice president. And then think about like you said, Tom. He'd take the mantle, I think, because I think he's a true patriot. And then you never know. Maybe he'd put like a Vivek or somebody as his vice president. And then that that line of just. True people that care about this country will keep 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 on going, and I think that that'd be a great choice. I would love I would love. I don't see it, guys. What? I don't see it. You don't see what? Uh, I don't. I don't. I think Tucker's an alpha. I don't think he's trying to take advice from and like listen to anybody. Be number two for anybody. He walked into the UFC behind think, Trump yeah, well, and looked like a pretty good fine. number two. I, just, I think Tucker is focused on building his media company. He's never ran for anything in his life. He's never expressed any interest for running anything in his life. And if I'm Trump, I want someone that's basically saying, get behind me, have my back, basically do what Mike Pence did for three years and 364 days, okay, <laughs> and just follow my lead. And also, I don't see Tucker bringing any independent or votes that Trump doesn't already have. People that like Tucker already like Trump. It's no one new. The reason that he picked Pence was because Trump is arguably the least Christian dude out there on his resume, at least. So he needed that nice, white, Christian conservative named Mike Pence to get in line for that evangelical vote. Mm -hmm. So now, who's going to be on Trump's shortlist? I don't see, poll, Tuck, I don't see Tucker. Run a poll and see. I see really? Tucker being a beast. I think on a debate stage versus They're, Kamala, he would run circles around here. Of course. I just don't think he's going to carry an any particular state. An article just came yeah. out. Trump is reportedly planning a cabinet from hell for oh. term two. This is intelligence, sir. Donald Trump is reportedly considering a contentious roster of candidates for key cabinet positions in a potential second term. This list includes figures like Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders, Arizona's Kerry Lake, South Dakota Governor's Kristi Noem, Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene oh. as potential vice president choices. Wow. Those are potential vice president. Ooh. Vance Sanders, Kerry Lake, Noem, Taylor, and Melania Trump has expressed interest in Tucker Carlson to corral up the MAGA base, but would run the risk of upstaging Trump at rallies. Continues. Trump's intent to reward loyalists who have backed his claims of election fraud is evident in his potential cabinet appointments. These appointments may feature Stephen Miller as attorney general or in a role to related to immigration enforcement. Amongst the names in contention for cabinet positions are Lee Zeldin for defense secretary, Richard Grinnell for director of national intelligence, and Steve Bannon for White House chief of staff. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. But I, I, I think the Carrie Lake vice president oh, thing to get the female vote, too, that would be, I mean, Carrie Lake would be, uh, I think, a great decision. I like, uh, I like, I like Christine Sanders. Gnome. From, I like Sanders a lot. From, you like uh, Sanders? Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Oh, she's a beast. The problem is, you know what, like that, the problem with her is she's uh, what not good looking. So I think that's not a good look. Tell, them, the, tell us what Okay, I, I'm just going to look at her. Yeah. And that's like a good picture of her somehow. Adam. Oh, my God. Hold on. I'll be under the desk. Then optics the and how you look actually counts. Okay. Now go to Christy Noam. By the way, it's the best picture of Sarah Huckabee Sanders I've ever freaking seen. Ever in your life? Christy yeah. Noam. See if you can do a side-by-side -side of these two. I mean, there's no need. You want to look at that girl every day? Or you want to look at that girl every day? <laughs> what? A, I, I, I mean, think you know where I vote. What about Carrie Sex Lake? Sex sells, bro. Would you not be Carrie Lake? You think Donald Trump is going to look at Sarah Huckabee Sanders and be like, eh, I, uh, not my first well, pick. Well, I mean, well, hold on. Sorry. But guess what? That's not what I'm hold into. If he, if he's, a, he's loyal to the people that, that love him. You can't even front. Sarah Huckabee Sanders was in those briefings every single day 
in a in a jungle with everybody from Jim Acosta's loser ass screaming at her every freaking two minutes. It was insane. It was insane that she had his back. Well, I tell, she that, never that, turned. That's your new VP right there. I listen. By the way, I'm look, a policy. I, I don't need to look at her I, face. If she's looking like the one in the pink right now, she could thank her uh, candidacy choices to Ozempic because she looks like she's lost a hundred pounds. Good for her. I don't leave. Can't fix an ugly not. face though. I'm but, sorry. This is just. Being but fun. listen, I'm anybody sorry, that's guys. a loyal, she, she's I'm loyal sorry, to Trump and she's about that policy. That's I'm great. Her. But I'd rather have Christy know him. Oh, I saved the photo. Yeah, I can't look at that anymore. She saved the world. She saved our economy. Too bad she wasn't more attractive. Yeah. What? Did, I mean, you ever see Superwoman? Yeah. You you are you gonna know. call? You know, maybe Adam needs to. Uh, they need to do a part two of the movie Shallow Hal. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and they say Shallow, Shallow Adam, Adam, and Tony Robbins comes up, and next yeah, thing yeah. you know, Adam shows up and introduces to a girl. Hey, this is Mary. Damn, she's hot. Oh, um, <laughs> I mean, what the hell's I mean, wrong like, with you, Adam? Is, is this guy okay? Adam is like, <laughs> oh my god, just sexy. Yeah, hey, that's that's sexy. Sexy. Shadow Adam, we can make Adam, Adam we can make a smooth. That made this. that made Jack Black's career. Shadow I'm Adam. down. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.